Tama, a good win tonight in the league and another three points on the board. Yeah. Um, feels so close to, to Saturday, a kind of monumental effort in the, the Scottish Cup. Likewise, um, Civil Service had exactly the same. I watched their highlights, spoke to multiple people, and I, I knew this was going to be a really, really tricky game tonight. And 4-0 four, four maybe flattered us a little bit. Um, because I felt at half time we were actually teeing out to the good purely because we were absolutely ruthless but there wasn't a lot in the game they're, they're actually a very very tidy athletic side and I, I think anybody that takes six points off them this season will probably go on to, to clinch a title if I'm being completely honest and they, they, they might actually have aspirations to doing that themselves because their management team know how to navigate their way through and actually out this league so that, that's a huge performance for us tonight huge three points against very good opposition yeah, you said the, the scoreline sort of flatters you, but the guys really had to work hard to keep that clean yeah. sheet tonight. Scott Christie was on form a number yeah. of times throughout the game. Yeah, I, I don't know if, if flattered is actually the right word just now. It's a word that kind of comes kind of top of mind. Um, but at, at, at no point did I feel entirely comfortable throughout that game. Um, we were under a bit of pressure with the counter attacks. Everything we prepared to do, to be fair, um, and we had to have a couple of different game plans up our sleeve because the feedback that we got was that we were up against a, a, a very tidy opponent, and it was a fantastic game of football. 4-0 was a, a, a flattering scoreline, but maybe on reflection when we look back we'll say we were probably ruthless enough to kind of merit, well merit the three points. Yeah, two teams came off the back of big wins in the Scottish Cup on mm -hmm. Saturday, so you knew what you were up against, you were up against a very good side, mm -hmm. and you had to be at your best tonight to get the result, even though it was a, a very convincing scoreline in the end. Definitely. Yeah, 100%. And I, I think everything that I said to the players in the pre-match notes, everything I, I said at half-time was, was very much designed to kind of give us an edge because that, that that's where the game was played tonight. It was played right on the edge. It was ebbing and flowing. It was end-to-end. -end. There, was, there was a lot of quality. There was a lot of endeavour. There was a lot of little interesting tactical battles happening. And, I, and thankfully for us on the night, I think we prevailed in the majority of them. Hence the reason that we've actually become you know the winning team on the night. Yeah, we're facing another good side on, on Saturday and Gretna down there and how much are you looking forward to getting down there and getting back getting the guys back out there again. Yeah, definitely. I, I think again, I, I said that to the players in the pre-match notes that I, I felt this was a great opportunity to get back out there, park the Scottish Cup temporarily, get back into the, the swing of things in the Lowland League. And Gretna again, a, a, a club with unbelievable pedigree in, in Scottish football and I think everyone knows the journey that they've been on. So for us, this is again, it's, a, it's another first for us, it's another bus journey, it, it's another team that we've got to do all our due diligence on and make sure we prepare properly and give them the respect that they deserve. But again, we, we go there, we look forward to it and it's just, again, it's fantastic to be here and I think the boys are really thriving in this league now. Congratulations on the three points tonight, Tom. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Cheers.